And hot off the request line, here I've got a challenge from teacher. It wasn't really a challenge, it was a request saying, I would like to have a countdown timer for my Google site for my donors choose uh, to show parents when uh, when that goes, uh, when, when it's time's up for that. And so I went to timeanddate.com. I did a quick Google search, came up with timeanddate.com. And right here it says countdown to any date. I'm going to click on that. And uh, I, I can put all this in, but I want one for my website. It says free countdown timer for your website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. And as I scroll down uh, location, it already picks up that I'm in Sioux Falls. Select a date and time to count down to. Okay, so let's go to the eighth month, 31st. Let's put this at uh, 11. So we're going to type in actually 23 since it's, uh, it goes off of military time. Type in 59. Oops. And seconds, we'll do 59. So midnight, well, practically midnight. Configure countdown timer design. You know, how fancy do you want this? Do you just want a blank? Uh, I'm not going to get very fancy with this. I'm just going to go with a blank, blank deal here. And let's go uh, one liner, two liner. There we go. I kind of like that. Now you can see down in the lower right, you can see what I've got, what it's going to look like, kind of. And let's scroll all the way to the bottom here. Somewhere at the bottom here, I'm going to go. I'll select the type of web page server and create HTML. So I'm going to click on that. Show HTML for countdown timer. And here I get this iframe, this code here. I'm going to highlight this, copy it. And now that I've got that copied, let's go back into my page. Uh, I'm going to go to, I'm just going off to my main page. Here I've got a text box. I don't want a text box. I'm going to go to insert. I want to embed. You should be able to put this embed code where I paste this in, hit next, and there's there's my uh, countdown timer. I'm going to hit insert, it embeds it, looks super big, so I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. There we go. And then you can drag, nice thing about Google uh, sites is I can drag that anywhere within that frame within that page and then make sure you publish it and then just like a cooking show when you get to the end you want to see what it looks like after it's been in the oven and there it is right there and there you go so as always if you like this video please like it and uh, share it if you want to make sure you subscribe to this page and we'll see you next time